Hey friends, it's Patrick from Landingy. In this video, I will show you how you can add a PayPal button to your landing page and how you can set up a payment gateway. We will go through the whole process step by step. But if you have any questions along the way, feel free to write them down in the comment section. If you like our tutorials, subscribe to our channel for more videos about building landing pages and funnels. Now, let's get to it. With our recent update, you can sell products straight from a landing page or thank you page and the order management can be done inside the Landingi platform entirely. This is an amazing tool to boost your sales, especially if you run an online store with a multitude of products. This new feature allows you to place many items on one landing page and gives you a dedicated thank you page, which can be used to build your funnel even further. The whole process of integrating PayPal with Landingi starts on a PayPal developer site. Log in and go to My Apps and Credential tab. Select Live section and click the button Create App. It is important that you choose the Live section, not the Sandbox. A new window will show up. Now we have to give a name to our connection with Landingi, so I'm going to write something obvious. Then we hit Create App. Now we see the important stuff. Client ID and secret key are required for proper setup. Click on them to see the exact info. We have to copy them, they will be needed shortly. Also, don't forget to tick Accept Payments Consent in the Live App Settings tab. That's all we need to do on the PayPal side. Now, let's head to the Landingi platform so we can add products. With the client ID and secret key copied from PayPal, we can go into the Landingi platform and set up the payment gateway. Click on your profile icon in the top right corner and select Payment Gateways. Here, all you have to do is to select PayPal, check if it's live and paste both codes. Save changes and your payment gateway with PayPal is set. The next step of your journey is adding products that we can later sell on landing pages. Go to the Products tab and click Add New Product button. The three main things that we have to set up are name, price and currency. In Landingi, you can sell in American Dollars, Brazilian Reals, Pounds, Euros or Polish Lotus. After your product has been added to the platform, you can edit a landing page that should contain a PayPal button. So, let's go to the landing pages and create a new one. From the left sidebar, drag and drop the PayPal button widget anywhere you want on the landing page. Go to its settings. Let's see the Products tab. Here, you can unfold the list showing all products that have been added. Right now I have just one, so we choose it and click the green plus button. If you can't see the product you've just added, click refresh. If you don't have any products added, the green plus button will allow you to do that. Now all you have to do is click save. After you publish your landing page, the PayPal button will be active. From the moment the landing page is published and the PayPal gateway is set correctly, each click on the button will open the PayPal checkout window where each user will be able to enter their data and make a transaction. All successful transactions will be counted in the Landingi dashboard. As you can see, setting up PayPal with Landingi is super easy. You can also set up your landing page with Google Analytics and follow the progress of your sales campaign there. It's worth to mention that currently you can't add PayPal button to smart sections, pop-ups and light boxes. In the future, we want to give you more freedom in customizing the look of the button. But for now, the way a PayPal button looks is predefined and cannot be changed. I hope this video was useful to you. If you want to add Landingi to your sale arsenal, you can test our tool for 14 days for free. We have over 300 templates designed for online sales and generating leads that allow you to build landing pages super fast and without writing a single line of code. Don't forget to subscribe and see you all in the next video.